How's it going, everybody? I'm David, and welcome to Sugar Style! Oh, dude, I'm actually really excited to do something like this. Okay, so, uh, this is a visual novel. We're gonna hop into it. <laughs> um, uh, enter my name. My last name is, uh, Dulief. Because <laughs> why not? Uh, and David is my first name. Lego. Yes, this name is amazing. It's my name. Oh. Money will start a new game for the first time. <laughs> mom? What happened to mom? Oh, okay. I think I might actually be some kind of pervert. What? Huh? Why would you think that? Their stares, cold and sharp as icicles, stab into me. Oh, man. Stop! Don't look at me like that! Look, I just want to make one thing clear. This is not my fault! My luck today couldn't possibly get worse. All my life, I've strived to ensure that every new meaning gets off on the right foot. When I'm introduced to someone, I'll greet them with a smile and make harmless small talk as I gradually build up an aff affable relationship. And I've done well at it, if I do say so myself. It's a solid approach. However, it's all falling apart with these girls. Am I doomed to be labeled a pervert? <laughs> That's one hell of a way to open a damn game, dude. <laughs> Title card! <laughs> Dude, I love this! Love it already! Woo! <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. Oh! <laughs> okay, um... No, 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 not to be mean, my boy! Uh, no voices. I give you my own voices. Good, sir back. Anyway, someone's in a good mood, still pumped about striking out on your own. Yeah, I guess I've got a good feeling about getting a fresh start. Hey, hell yeah. I lean over to gaze out the window with the city. It's bigger and busier than I expected. Not really striking out on my own, though. We'll be living in dorms. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You and your obsession with precise wording. Oh, look! See that? Hmm? I don't know why I gave him that voice, but it, it's it's continuing. Holy crap! That's our school? The pictures don't do it justice, man! That looks freaking intimidating! This massive building houses Shirai Ernest Academy, a vocational school serving over 5,000 students. Holy fuck! 5,000? My school's never had a few hundred! And we barely had 200. Fucking 5,000. Holy fuck. It has a wide range of degree programs from engineering to home economics, medicine to music, cooking to cosmetology. Most classes are taught by practicing professionals. Oh, that's cool. The ostentatious. That's a word I've never used before. Uh, domed building. No doubt designed by some fancy pants architect stands out even from across the city. I hear this was a farm town until they built the school. My dad wouldn't shut up about that when we chose this as the next step in my life. Apparently, Backwater Shirai City was perfect for a huge school like this, thanks to its dirt-cheap land prices. Over time, people trickled in, bringing fresh blood to the growing town, until it blossomed into a hip, vibrant city. Another word I don't use, hip. <laughs> Do you think they have classrooms in the weird dome pot? I wonder how much all this costs. Whoa, watch it! Our small truck just barely swerves around a terrified man in the road. Are you trying to kill someone? Whew, that was close. Two inches off and that guy'd be dead. <laughs> Actually, this vi voice fits perfect. <laughs> Why do you sound so proud of that? I almost had a heart attack. 
Please, if anyone was gonna have a heart attack, it'd be the geezer back there. Don't joke about almost killing someone! Hey, you think if I just graze him, he'd seriously had a heart attack and die? I'd go to jail? Honestly? Good question. <laughs> it is a good question, isn't it? Want to settle it with some the next old guy we see? What the fuck? <laughs> we know how he gets his kicks, at least. Yeah, no. No accidents today, please. This buffoon is Akira Ijuin. Is you in? I'm gonna call you Akira. I'm not gonna try to pronounce your last name. Uh, we've been buds since middle school. I wouldn't call us best friends or anything, but the fickle hand of fate had has kept us together all the way up to attending this vocational school. We're not super close. We only hang out once in a while. But he still offered to help me move in. In a nutshell, he's a good guy. Even though he tries to run over old guys. So, what's your dorm like? He turns to look at me and I point forward, directing his eyes back to the road. Look, you've already tried, you've almost killed somebody, threatened to kill another. Like, dude, we, I just want to say how fucking pop this music makes me. Dude! <laughs> like, I, a part of why I have such a big smile on my face is this damn music. It's so fucking good. I love it. Uh, but I'm a sucker for rock. What can I say? Uh, apparently one of my aunts is the manager of the student dorms. I was so surprised when I heard about it. It's on the level of a resort slash hotel for the super rich. I like how they added the clicker. Uh, well, the blinker. But it's the clicker for the blinker. For real? It's a brand new high-rise building, 10 stories tall. Each room is about 400 square feet with plenty of storage space. Every room has a bath and the tub has jacuzzi jets? According to the brochure, the beds are so soft you can just sink right into them. There's even a convenience store on the first floor, so your shopping trip is just an elevator ride away. You don't even need to get wet on rainy days. Why don't we have shit like that in America? <laughs> the absolute ideal student dorms. That's ideal for anybody, damn it. Oh, you mean the putty... <laughs> Wait, the putty gates? Alright, let me say it in his voice. Oh, you mean the putty gates. Yeah, that's it. Wait, you've heard of it? It must really be some kind of big deal, huh? Showing no sign of surprise, Akira glances over at me, taking his eyes off the road again. Nah, I'm gonna live there too. That's all. Wow, you too? Man, we're gonna be in the same... We're even gonna be in the same dorm. I seriously can't get rid of you. But Akira doesn't laugh, only knitting his brow as he cranes his neck forward and gazes out the windshield. All the street signs show names I've never heard of. Thing is, the address you gave me is off in the mountains. Huh? Yeah, it's a different address from the one I have. You're living somewhere else. What? I'm not staying here? I've got a bad feeling about this. From the beginning in the intro... Oh, this is epic! Here we are. No way! It's just some run-down old country inn! But my pillow top mattress! My jacuzzi! That's no 10-story high-rise! I bet there's not an ounce of steel in the building materials! <laughs> Looks like a lovely new home you got there, buddy. Idyllic? SHUT UP! I look again at the map my parents gave me. Oh? At the Purdy Gates. Head north on foot for ten, about ten minutes. I KNOW SOMETHING STUPID LIKE THIS WOULD HAPPEN! <laughs> It'll be okay. Okay, calm down. Wherever I lay my hat, that's my home, right? Sure, the building's made of rotting lumber, but you can't argue with the view. Phew. Hmm. Lots of nature around. And the cleanest air money can buy. Working really hard to be optimistic there, aren't you? Leave me alone! Always be positive. That's my motto. Come on. Let's unload your stuff. Sure. Thanks for all your help. 
Akira suddenly puts an arm around my shoulder. What are you doing? Just what feels right. You and me. We're forever friends, right? Friends forever, right? Are you stupid? Wow, rude! <laughs> now, if you'll... Excuse me? Pretty sure you meant excuse, but... If you'll excuse me... Very mature. Didn't realize we were still in middle school. That really is the only age where you're allowed to constantly make up dumb, dumb puns on sex, isn't it? Okay, so that was purposeful. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, here we go. Thanks. I can take it all up to my room myself. With my cargo finally unloaded, I wipe the sweat from my face. Akira has already helped me enough. I ought to do the rest myself. You sure? Eh, then I'll go take the truck back. All right. And there we go. We close the lid of the truck, and Akira jumps into the driver's seat, looking at me through the window. Okay, see you at the entrance ceremony. Yeah, thanks again. I'll buy you lunch sometime. Oh, wow, so gracious. Thanks for nothing. I chuckle as I watch the truck speed off into the distance. Lunch is better than nothing, right? Just as the truck disappears, I jump to my feet and stretch. And now... Hmm? Reinvigorated, I reach for the heaviest looking box, but then I notice something strange in my peripheral vision. Did you pack a one? <laughs> I'm not here to judge or anything, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to pack women. <laughs> what you doing? A little ways away from my luggage, there sits a single box. And inside the box sits a girl. What do you want? Do not accost me, please. Uh, I just... Sitting in a box like an abandoned cat, arms hugging her legs, she doesn't move an inch as she flicks her eyes up at me. Her voice drips suspicion, and her glare matches her voice for animosity. But come on, what I'm doing here is perfectly ordinary. She's a suspicious one here. I kind of thought you looked like an abandoned cat. What? You make no sense. No, you make no sense. Why are you sitting in a cardboard box? Because I needed to reflect on my actions. Uh-huh. Excuse me, normally one would ask, why are you reflecting, or did you get into an argument with someone? Nobody cares! But seriously, why a box? Fine, did you get into an argument with someone? It's too late. <laughs> Do you want me to ask or not? The box girl jumps out of her box, much like a cat. To whom in the world do all of these boxes belong? She looks to my feet. Do you want one? Yours looks pretty uncomfortable. No, stop! Or I'll get mad. Fine. Rah! <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> <laughs> that caught me off guard. I did not expect her to say RAR. <laughs> She's pretty cute. Oh, yeah, definitely not funny as fuck. <laughs> uh, these are all mine. Why are your belongings all over the lawn? Setting up a yard sale? Um... Kinda thought it would be obvious. I'm moving in today. Oh. What? But this is an all girls dorm. Well then, it is. I look over the building again. They really made a bunch of girls live in this dump? How rude! Nobody asked you! Guess that means she does live here. Er, wait. If you thought this was an all-girls dorm, does that mean that there aren't any other guys here? Well, yes, that's right. Huh. Holy crap, I won the lottery! Okay. 
Okay, what's with that look? I love this dorm! Quite the reversal there. She looks younger than me, but I better not say anything. Asking a girl's age when you've just met her can open up a real can of worms. My aunt manages this dorm, and I'm going to be living here from now on. Oh, really? First I've heard of it. Are you sure? The box girl circles me at a distance. Like a fucking cat. If you think I'm lying, ask the dorm mother. Oh, I will. We only just met. Why is she so aggressive? So if you're living here, does that mean you're entering the Shirai Ernest Academy this year? Yep, bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, new student. <laughs> the over-enthusiastic, friendly type, eh? Let me guess, you want to make a hundred friends? Well, there are 5,000 students, right? Making a hundred friends should be easy. Suppose some bright-eyed, bushy-tailed new student like you who only wants to make a hundred friends were to actually achieve that goal. At that point, he wouldn't have any reason to come to school anymore, correct? Well, I guess... And that is why researchers have concluded that, rather than aiming to make a hundred acquaintances, kids should aim to make two really close friends. Wow. Somebody rob you of your childhood? <laughs> um, I, I mean, that's what my mommy always says. <laughs> no need to regress now. Huh. What's wrong? Feeling sulky? <laughs> no. She looks at me nervously. Box girl's mouth opens and closes repeatedly, looking like she has something to say. Just so you know, I'm pretty direct with everyone, including girls. If you start feeling down just from a little teasing, we're in for a rocky relationship. Name, please. Ah. No, shush. You didn't even drink that other beer. You mean my dad's? How you want to help her? Why would I care about your dad's name? What's your name? Heh, <laughs> my name is of no consequence. You can skip the cool guy shtick. Why? I thought I was a pretty cool guy. It'll be a little inconvenient to live in the same dormitory if I don't know your name, right? Fair point. But wait, counterpoint. Instead, you could call me Daddy. <laughs> In that case, I dub the uh, Bigfoot. Oh, fuck. I'm Leaf David. David Leaf. Kindly avoid naming me after a cryptid. Box Girl pulls out a colored marker out of her pocket and writes my name on her hand. I can't decide if that means she's method... Um, uh, method, methodical, methodical. Oh my God! Why did I have such a hard time with that? Or forgetful? Heh, <laughs> that's a pretty cute name. Thank you. First time I've ever heard that. Oh, oh. <clears throat> I don't know their face, so oh, there they are. There you are. Hmm. I heard the sound of sandals scraping against the ground as a casually dressed girl approaches. I figured this Anna of mine would be older, but maybe that's her? Hi, I'm Leaf David. I look forward to staying with you. <laughs> wow, you're so polite. A real breath of fresh air compared to these selfish girls. Ugh. I guess this woman sent her to the box as punishment. Nice to meet you. I'm Kaoru... Kaoru Tsubaki. Tsubaki liked the Camilla flower, and Karu liked its sweet fragrance. I'm the dorm mother. Aww! That was cute! So you're my aunt, then? Oh! Oh, no! Oh, fuck! <laughs> Wait! You mean your cousin! <laughs> oh, man. I've done it now. But you can treat me like a friend your own age. No need for a miss. Karu will do fine. All right. Of course. Nice to meet you, Karu. 
What a good boy! Next time you call me your aunt, I'm kicking you out! Scary! So, Box Girl, what's your name? Now, what's the... That's the pot calling the kettle black, if I've ever heard it. You've got a lot more boxes than me, Box Boy. I'm moving in. What's your excuse? Okay, forget it. What's your name? Hmm. I'm Mayo Minami. Mao? Okay. How's Minami spelled? Take the fourth through the seventh letters of Indomitable, and then the first two letters of Micro Dimbration Minami. That's too much. While we're at it, for Mao, take the second letter and third letters of Samurai, switch them, and then the second letter of Woman. Mao Minami! Maybe you can just explain it a little simpler. Or maybe she doesn't want to. Anyway, you better not act all chummy and call me Mao. Reading you loud and clear there, Mao. Ugh, I just told you not to do that! Oh, I thought there was, that was a reverse psychology or something. Ugh, fine. Do whatever you want. Kaori and Mao. Got it! So, you're alone. You didn't hire a moving company? Nah, a friend helped me get it, get it here. But we used a rental truck and he had to go return it. <laughs> boys will be boys. Always trying so hard to be independent. I guess you're like that too? Well, I didn't really have much luggage to begin with. All right, then. Mao, you should help him take it to his room. What? She turns to look at me, incredulous. Don't worry about it. Your dainty little arms couldn't lift these anyway. Hm. Don't treat me like a child. I can carry cardboard boxes easily. Hey, wait, not that one! She reaches out to grab the heaviest box of all, one filled with books. Ugh. It gets maybe half an inch off the ground, but Mao's arms are trembling fiercely. Whoops! Yeah! I rush over to support her before she can kneel over. Bad touch! Bad touch! Calm down, weirdo! Guess I better find an easy box for her to carry before she hurts someone. Here, take this one. I offer her the lightest box. What was in this one again? Pretty sure I labeled all of them. Fragile? Handle with care? Huh. One with my born. Actually, I should take that one. You can't be trusted with fragile things. Leave it to me. I'm excellent at delicate work, so you can absolutely entrust me with this box. <laughs> hey! His room is the first one on the right after you go in. Got it! Mao doesn't look back, walking briskly towards the door. Don't look in my boxes, okay? Why not? Well, uh, if you open it, you'll turn into an old lady. What is it? The box from the Dragon's King Palace? Sure! Yeah, go with that! So my first, my room's on the first floor. I would have loved to have the view from the second floor, but it's nice being near the entrance. Watching Mao, she deli diligently, not diligent. what the fuck is up with me in English? Carries her box into the building. I rush to pick one up myself. Maybe she actually enjoys being helpful. Wow, you hindered her pretty well. There's nothing important in that box she's carrying, is there? Eh, not important, no, but I'd rather her didn't see it. Oh, I get it. Can we drop the topic? Hey, it's a dude! There's a dude here! What now? Is this a new guy? A creature much smaller than Mal appears. She's wearing a t- T-shirt with trophy wife in training written on it? How tacky can you get? Yep, he's moving in the open room on the first floor, so no going in there without permission. Oh, fuck. Aw, it's all spacious, so I liked hanging out in that room. I make eye contact with Tacky T as she puffs her cheeks like a blowfish. Gotta remember my philosophy. Always be friendly when you're meeting someone new. Even when they're a literal child. <coughs> hmm. I'll be staying here from now on. Nice to meet you. Hey, a new guy. Having nothing but lame girls around was wearing me down, so I'm glad you're here. You get to Erica's seal of approval. Sharp tongue, but at least she's happy to see me. Holy crap, is it really true? Nothing but girls here? Best day ever! 
I'm off to the store. Show them around the dorms, okay? I. The moment Kara leaves, Tacky T smirks in a devil may care fashion and puts a hand on my shoulder. Listen up, new guy. If you're gonna live here, you gotta follow the rules. Whoa, power tripping much? Shut it and listen! All right, hit me. She thrusts a finger at me and glares. One, obey Erica. Two, worship Erica. Three, play with Erica when she tells you to. Dims the rules. And who is Erica? Me. Sounds like someone's lonely. Ugh, we got a tough guy this time, and I dominated Ichi so easily. Ichi? Guess there was another recent arrival. Maybe someone here is my age after all. I'm good with hanging out once in a while, for what it's worth. Really? Yeah, of course you are. Who wouldn't be? All right, new guy, just remember, any problems, come see me first. Need relationship advice? I'm your girl. Thanks, I appreciate that. Hey, are you just going to stand around or what? Help me carry your stuff. Oh, my bad. Coming. Mal opens the door of my room and traces a finger along the windowsill, grimacing at the dust. Can you help us too, Ari? Seriously? Moving in is going to be hard on Senpai. Remember how you helped me when I moved in? Senpai? Is that me? He's a guy. He can handle it. Ugh. Oh, right. I almost forgot. I was about to go clean my room. Laters. <laughs> Erica yanks off her shoes at the door and bounds off like a rabbit. <laughs> Gosh, Erica is such a child. All right. There are probably a few more folks living here, but I should probably hold off on introducing to myself to everyone until I've dealt with my stuff. Okay. Before we continue, first off, amazing soundtrack to amazing dialogue so far in three i am having a fucking blast dude like okay i just i, I want to address this i didn't think i would have so much fucking fun doing this like i had expectations like like oh i'm i'm spending a good bit of money on this i want it to be good but holy fuck it's amazing i love it Woo! all done Having hauled all of my stuff into my room, I lie down on a tatami mat. I don't think I ever properly appreciated the feel of lying down on a tatami mat until now. The rough texture is amazing. Mal watches me for a moment as I lays around on the floor. When, then she turns away, her job complete. I'm going back to my room. Just hang around until Karu... That's gonna bug me. Give me a second. How do you spell it? <laughs> I'm actually looking up how to spell it. K O R U. K R U. I was saying it right. Cool. Awesome. Sure. Thanks. Was she gonna? Wasn't she gonna show me around the dorm? Ah, well, doesn't matter. I'm p pretty tired anyway. Maybe I'll just laze around until K R U gets back. I take a jersey out of one of my boxes as a substitute for my pajamas. The sweat on me feels gross, so I might as well change. I peel the sweaty t-shirt off my back and toss it on the floor. Hmm? Um. Hello? Another new girl walks into my room. Ah! Whoa, 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 come down! Why'd she have to walk in while I'm shirtless? There's a man here, and he's naked! Okay, let's just both take a deep breath here. I can explain. You can? Yeah, see this bruise under my left nipple? Isn't a hickey, I promise. I was born with it. <laughs> I, I wish you hadn't explained. I go and bear my insecurity to her, and that's how she reacts? My insecurity! Look at it! Look! Right here! See? It's totally a birthmark! <laughs> I'm pretty sure she was asking what you were doing in the room. Not about your damn titty birthmark. <laughs> no! Oh, hey, wait! 
Huh, wow, she vanished. <laughs> she ran off without even letting me get to my explanation. Wow, and she's so, so darn fast. This place is crawling with girls. Man, meeting all these new people has got me a little off kilter. At least I'm trying to tell myself that's the reason the exchange just now went so poorly. Yeah, you, you had your titties bared and you were like, Look at my nipple! It's a birthmark! <laughs> you know, now that I get a good look at it, this place is rather spacious for a dorm. Almost feels like a bed and breakfast. Well, that sure got my blood pumping. Don't think I could rest if I tried. Maybe I'll take a quick look around. Ooh. I leave my room and turn right. After heading down the hallway a bit, I find a large room. Guess this is the cafeteria. The faint smell of food lingers, reminding me of long lost days eating school lunches. Ugh, oh, school lunches. I don't I don't think I ever remember eating a school lunch. Holy shit. <laughs> Okay, um, continuing. I guess everyone here eats meals together. Okay, so I messed up and accidentally hit stop recording when I was trying to pause it, so yeah. Anyway, I guess everyone here eats meals together. <laughs> I head up the creaky flight of stairs to find another long hallway, just like the first floors. So this is where the washroom is? Do the girls do their makeup together in the morning, I wonder? I continue through the strangely silent hallway. I wonder which rooms are Mal's and Erica's. After a little while longer, I find that I find what seems to be the bathroom. Considering how run down this place is, I bet the bath is one of those small square ones. Let me guess, you go into the women's bathroom? Is that... Ah! Not again! Another unfamiliar girl wearing only a, her underwear and covered in bubbles stands with a deck brush in hand. Okay, for real. Who scrubs the tub in their underwear? I, I have money if that's what you want. Sorry, this is absolutely my fault. I'm not a robber, I swear. Right, of course. I, I understand. Okay, really? Thank goodness. She totally doesn't believe me. I've got a sneaking suspicion she plans to smack me with her deck brush. I have to get out of here. I slowly back away, trying not to startle her. Um, wait, c could you come over here? Huh? Did I hear you right? Did she ask me to come closer? <laughs> I was trying to leave, but strangely enough, she's beckoning me closer. The way she's hiding your chest is really sexy. Have I suddenly ended in a, up in a porno? Sure. Uh, over here? Obeying the big-breasted lady, I walk over to her beside the bathtub. Yes, now could you look away for a second? Sh sure. What? <laughs> no way, does she want to wrap those sexy arms around me? Is this moment I finally... <laughs> Take this! What? <laughs> she brings the deck brush down on me, whacking me in the back, sending me hurtling toward the bathtub. Help! Somebody help! There's a demon in the house! I knew she wanted to smack me with the brush. Well, obviously, that was a fucking apparent. All right. Sugar style. In the evening, after all the dorm residents return home, we meet up in the cafeteria. The mood is, needless to say, awkward. <laughs> Looks like we got a real deviant on our hands. Shut up. It was just an unfortunate accident. Though both misunderstandings have been cleared up, I clearly made a bad first impression on those two. If only there was some way to clear my name. So, everyone, meet the newest member of our family. All of you are going to the same Shirai, Shirai Ernest Academy, so try to play nice, okay? Is he our age, then? That's right. I'm Carrie Subaki, your dumb mother. How about you all introduce yourselves? Introductions? Get gone. You do it. Nobody else wants to go first, so I stand up. My name is Leaf David. I'm a little weirded out by this all-girls thing, but please be patient with me. Get a load of this guy telling us to be patient when he was peeping on Ichi in the bath. 
I wasn't peeping! I just happened to run into her while she was cleaning in her underwear. Watch it, Erica. My bad. Looks like even the cheeky little brat listens to Keiru. Yeah! Like she fucking should! Since you just moved in today, I guess you would want to take a quick look at the bath. I'm fine now. Besides, I, s I suppose it was my fault for taking my clothes off to avoid getting them wet. To be fair, I assumed it was okay since we're all girls here. So, um, I'm sorry. Please try to forget what you saw since it's rather embarrassing. You have to stop apologizing. I'm starting to feel like I'm bullying you. Well, um, that's all then. Today's been a wild ride. My mind can't take it anymore. I take my seat again, and the next person to stand up is the speedy girl who saw me shirtless. Uh, I'm Hare Kusunoki. I like sports. Oh, the athletic type. What do you play? Tennis, I guess. Nice, nice. I've never tried it outside of PE, though. <laughs> Hare runs super fast. You should play her sometime. Wow. I'm, I'm not that fast, really. No faster than anyone else is, probably. She nervously scratches her head. Guess she's still embarrassed about seeing me earlier. That thing before. You didn't do that on purpose, right? Of course not. I'm not an exhibitionist. Okay. Um, uh... She holds out a piece of candy. Take this as an apology. <laughs> <laughs> Why is she treating me like some fucking dog? <laughs> oh, sure. Thank you. Sorry, I don't really like salted plum flavor. That's all I have. Oh. Why am I having so much trouble here? This is just as bad as Underwear Girl and Box Girl. And I'm just not on the same wavelength as any of these girls. And here I had my hopes pinned on really hitting it off with one of the girls in my new dorm. Alright then, I'll take it. Uh, sure, go ahead. Okay, next. Oh, okay, next. Mal gets to her feet. I've already introduced myself to him, but I'm Mal Minami. Nice to meet you. Oh. You two know each other? No, I just met him earlier. I found her abandoned in a cardboard box, so I took her in. I'd prefer if you didn't lie to them about me. Whoa, no need to get mad. Scary. <laughs> Mal, were you sitting in that box again? Er, well, yes. Why the box, anyway? It's like in school when they punish you by making you hold buckets of water in the hallway. Just doing it is embarrassing, so it impre impresses the feeling of me regretting my actions on others. What the hell? I'm pretty sure schools put in uh, put an end to corpor corporal punishment like that a long time ago. That's the part of the trick. Others feel guilty when they see me like that, and they realize, oh no, I've gone too far. You seriously didn't get a childhood, did you? <laughs> Mal's about to stab Mac, but Keiru's cold glare shuts her up. You already know all about me, right? I didn't catch your full name. Erica Mayame. You're actually supposed to write Erica using kanji, but don't bother. Why not? She doesn't like how it has the kanji for laugh in it. It's written like the smell of laughing village. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop! You don't have to be that extra, Keiru! What's wrong with having the kanji for laugh in your name? Well, for starter, there's too many people who live around here, around me with the same last name. So at school, people write my name as Maya May, LOL. Isn't that stupid? I chortle. <laughs> oh no. God, just drop it already! Ichi, introduce yourself! Uh, okay. I'm Ichika Morisumi. I've only lived here for a week, so I'm still getting used to life here. Um, nice to meet you. Aw, sweet Ichika. Oh, uh, likewise. Should I call you Morisumi? Ichika is fine. Everyone calls me by my first name. Alright, I will too then. Look at you fawning all over Ichi. Wonder what that's all about. What? I wasn't- I- I DON'T KNOW WHAT YOU'RE TALKING ABOUT! Your nose is bleeding, perv. Uh, 
The shock of seeing her huge breast was too much for a virgin like me. This reminds me, though. If we're going to have a boy living here, we'll need to decide on a few boundaries. Like fixed times for the bath, right? Yeah. A bathing schedule? Well, I suppose I would rather not get smacked with a deck brush again. I wouldn't mind going last. Everyone cool with me bathing at midnight? Sure, I bathe earlier. You're free to come in with me. Just because you don't, you can't get a date doesn't mean you get to prey on schoolboys, Karu. I'm single by choice, okay? Sound like someone's got a sob story. I'm fine with you taking midnight. Every now and then I like to shower around that time. But I can wait until you get out. Got it. Every now and then. That makes me wonder how long she's lived here. Maybe I'm the odd one, moving in so close to the start of the semester. That works fine for me, too. Do you often stay up that late? Me? I wouldn't say I get to sleep all that early, at least. Hmm. Is she worried about me being late to class? Also, we should probably plan laundry times. Um, we, uh, wouldn't want you to wash your stuff at the same time we're doing our underwear, you know? Right, of course. They're already settled into a routine for an all-girls dorm, so I should pick a time that won't interfere. It's not their fault or anything. We're going to be living together, so there's going to be some give and take. I'll save up my laundry and do it all at once on Sunday night or something. Sorry, kind of feels like we're inconveniencing you. Nah, I don't mind. It's really no big deal. If you're sure, thanks. Hair has just been setting all the plans, dude. After that, as we ate some pre-made curry, curry, they gave a quick explanation of life around the dorm. They went over everything they thought I might need to know, like the location of the main tap for the bath and wash stand, and how to get to the roof. Meals were covered in our rent. Oh! So we didn't have to buy groceries or prepare our own food. Just wait, and mood m food magically appears. They really put my mind at ease. Soon enough, all my worries about dorm life had disappeared. <laughs> Sugar style. And now I'm heading out onto the roof, shoving open the heavy, wind-battered door. Wow, but there's a great view. The wood is in good shape, so I'm guessing they expanded the roof recently. Oh, Ichika turns to face me. Well, I'm sorry, Ichika. I'll, I'll leave. <laughs> hey, what are you up to? Oh, nothing. The view from here is just so pretty. Wow, it really is. What about you? Nah, same as you. Just wanted to check out the view. When I heard this place had an open roof, I had to see it. I see. Gazing out at the gentle city lights off in the distance, I lean on the railing and take a deep breath. I savor the smell of foliage, a fragrance special to places surrounded by nature. Maybe living here won't be so bad after all. You asked me to stop apologizing earlier, but I still feel bad. I'm sorry for hitting you. Nah, you sure did surprise me, I'll give you that. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Want me to see if you've got a bruise? No, I'm just kidding. You don't need to worry about it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm fine. Sorry I surprised you. It must have been a shock since nobody told you I was coming. Ichigo looks down for a moment before suddenly gi giggling to herself. It never even crossed my mind that I might end up living with a boy. Honestly, I'm still not sure how I feel about it. Um, I hope we can be friends. I know it's going to take time, but I want to become good friends with all of you. Me too. G glad we got that misunderstanding cleared up. Yeah. So, do you mind? She holds out her hand. A little hesitant, I look Ichika in the eyes, but this time she only wa shows me a warm smile. Of course not. I'm glad I met you. Yeah, living here should be just fine. Hell yeah, dude. Sugar style. <laughs> Okay, that's cool. You guys can't see it, but in the top left-hand corner, it now says Prologue 2. Mm -hmm. Youch! 
My right arm is all pins and needles since the circulation to it was blocked. I had a bad, uh, I had a bed back at home, so I imagine the root of this issue is the unfamiliar futon I'm now sleeping on. <sighs> Morning already. I stretch out and look up at the ceiling. School doesn't start for another day, so I can sleep in all I want. At first, I was worried about moving out, but living among fellow students has mostly put those worries to rest, even if they're all girls. Uh... Hare walked in on me half-naked, and I ran into Ichika cleaning in her underwear. There were plenty of accidents on my first day, but this is my own solitary space. I try not to fret over every little thing in my life, because pretty soon you end up worrying non-stop. But even so, living in a house with a bunch of girls has me a little concerned. Phew! Through my window come the sounds of nature. Bird calls and other animals. It's almost like I'm vacationing in the countryside. Being a lazy lump is fun and all, but maybe I ought to go outside and shake off the sleepiness. Oh, shit. I slip on a pair of sandals by the entrance, which are apparently for co communal use. The tap-tapping of the sandals against the wooden floor fills me with nostalgia. Hmm, <sighs> the scent of dewy grass. A rural smell indeed. The unpolluted air smells wonderful. Hmm, who's that? As I'm meditating in the early day, hair clad in running apparel comes into view on the horizon. As she approaches, she shortens her stride, slowing down. Huh? <sighs> 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 uh? Hey! Uh. Good morning. What are you doing? Oh, uh, just. Ugh. <sighs> Just got out here to practice some breakdance moves to shake off the sleepies. <laughs> oh, well, good luck. You're supposed to respond with a joke. Oh, I said that out loud. I, I was? She's clearly not cut out to be a comedian. I don't know how long she's been running, but her breathing is a little ragged. Have you been running since first thing in the morning? Yeah, it's still cool in the early morning, and that feels nice when you're out running. Hair takes the towel hung over her neck and wipes her face. Huh? The sweat trickling down her neck sure is sexy. W what? Oh, nothing. I'm definitely not looking at your neck because it's sexy. I know. I bet you think I'm some sort of pain in the butt exercise freak, don't you? No, er, you're way off base, actually. Fine. Then why are you looking at me like that? If you've got something to say, be direct with me. All right. Sweaty girls are hot. N not that direct! Make up your mind, girl. Hair unfolds the towel and drapes it over her chest so that I can't see her cleavage. So, what are you really doing out here? Just hanging out and trying to wake up. We're out here by the mountain, so there's nice fresh air. R right. The heck, what's bothering her now? Still thinking about yesterday, maybe? Uh, feel that breeze? Hair takes a deep breath, grabbing the collar of her shirt to fan herself. Okay. That is seriously hot. Ew, don't give me that sketchy look. At any rate, she's got a good point about running when it's cool out. Maybe I should take up jogging in the mornings too. Oh? You're welcome to come with me if you want. Really? How far do you usually run? Mm, it's just a light jog, so I usually just to the mountain over there, I guess. Uh, what? That mountain? The one all the way over there? She calls that a light jog? I've been trying out a few different routes, but I haven't really found any fun ones yet. I <laughs> wonder what her definition of fun is. Uh, hey, are you one of those people who like running on rough trails? Yeah, totally. They're perfect for training your legs. <laughs> Steep inclines? I'm all about them. <laughs> You're one of those pain in the butt exercise freaks! <laughs> Wait, I knew you were thinking that. Going running with someone who has the energy to stop, to get pumped up about heel training is tantamount to suicide. Random question, but did your dad make you train with exercise springs when you were younger? No, but I did start playing tennis when I was three. Tennis at the age of three. She must be seriously talented. 
Anyway, I kind of want to go take a shower, so I should get going. Oh, sure. She wants to go, pauses a second, and then turns back in a hurry. Don't even think about coming up to the second floor. I'm busy enjoying the bounty of Mother Nature. I have no time for your second floor. Uh-huh. Bye! Hair glances at me suspiciously and trots into the dorm. What if her parents are big tennis fans? Hey! Yeah? You seriously don't strike me as the type who enjoys nature. Shut up! <laughs> the sudden smile she points my way makes my heart skip a beat. Skip a bit. Man, she's the kind of girl who makes guys fall for her without even trying. All that aside, this really is one heck of a view. I was wound up pretty tight, what with the stress and worry of over moving here. God, I'm sleepy. Spending a few minutes just taking in nature is a great way to decompress. And on that note, I believe we are going to end it here because I am yawning like crazy. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Sugar Style. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. It was absolutely fantastic. But hit the like button if you want. And also go down below and become a good egg by hitting that subscribe button. I'll see all you amazing, beautiful people in the next video. Have fun. Have